Hi, welcome to the second part of the C++ guide for JS developers. Now, on the first part, we talked a little bit about compilation and about the preprocessor. So now we're going to get a little bit more into the language itself. And we're going to start talking about header files and namespaces. Um, once again, this guide is just me reading over what I wrote in the written version. You can get it on um, Gumroad, and the link will be in the description. But um, let's get into it. So, um, an important part of C programs and C++ programs are header files. Header files allow you to declare interfaces to the implementation of your own code or classes or you know modules and they are, pre are suffixed with the h extension now here you can see i'm using a different uh, preprocessor statement i'm using the pragma uh, statement and i'm passing the once value basically what this uh, statement does it tells the preprocessor to only include this file in your compilation once right so you can imagine as we saw before whenever we use include in any of our programs the contents of the library you're passing is going to get replaced on your program so for example if i would include this implementation this header file of mine into different files then all of them you know i would have a lot of repeated code in each of the of the files I'm trying to compile and sometimes you know that will cause errors it will cause um, duplicated definitions if I'm not careful and then the compiler will of course not compile our program so by using the pragma statement we're telling the preprocessor whenever this file is has been already included in any of the sources don't include it again you know it's just a one-time declaration so, as stated, the header files are used to declare interfaces, right? Um, for any module you want to uh, use. So, in this example, I have declared a function, which is a sum. It's going to return an integer and take two integers. Fairly basic, right? So, I can, once I have declared my header file, I can declare another file with the exact same name and this file needs to comply to this header file. I can have more functions of course but if this file has not been properly implemented I should get a compilation error. And you can see that it's not um, it's not fulfilling the interface, the promise that I made to the outside world that this module will contain. Now, I have my header file, I have my implementation. On my main file, I once again have to use the preprocessor include statement, and I'm going to include just the header file. Right, so the CLAN compiler is smart enough to realize whenever I'm importing the header, that also means I'm going to import the implementation. And once I am inside of it, I can just call my function because it has been declared, it has been already imported. You can imagine uh, after the preprocessor done does its job, what I'm going to be left is something like this, right? So I can just call this function and it will be fine. Now, um, you can start to imagine if several modules implement somewhat similar functionality, right? Or there's a little bit of overlap, then we're gonna start to have conflict, right? I can have my some implementation, but some extra library, you know, a dependency of a dependency could implement also a sum function. So then the question is, how do we differentiate between all these implementations? In order to do this, we can use namespaces. Now, namespaces exist in TypeScript, for example, but they're not widely used, so it might be a little bit confusing to you on the first look. 
So on my header file, I am going to declare a namespace and I'm just gonna call it OSP or something like this. Yeah. Great. So if I now compile, then you will see now it's complaining that the sum function it's not it's not available but because i have already included a header file it can already see what i'm trying to do right so it's telling me you know there's a namespace that actually exports a sum function you probably want to use that so what i can do is append the namespace and Mm, it doesn't work. <laughs> I probably also need to use the namespace here. Uh, let's try it like this. Yeah, now it works, right? So on my header file, I have declared a function within a specific namespace. Um, therefore, on my implementation file, I have to use the same namespace, right? So you can see namespaces allow you to organize the code and allow you to prevent conflicts on a global namespace. Fairly, use, uh, fairly useful. So there's one important thing that um, to notice which is this operator, the double colon operator. Um, this is similar to a uh, dot, except it's specifically meant for namespaces, right? It's supposed to give you a clue. Um, you're not really calling a uh, object or an instance or in you know, a specific function. You're just accessing a namespace. And within that namespace, you're accessing a particular function, for example. So you could have even more, right? Um, we are using only one namespace, but let's, let's say I could have something like um, utils math some something like this, right? Like I can be even more specific with my namespaces. Um, there are some modules where this will be cumbersome, for example, right? Like if you have a module that effectively uses all the time, for example, the standard library or some other namespace, what you can do is you can declare using namespace at the beginning of the file, and then um, you don't need to specify the functions that happen within this namespace. So if I run this, you can see the output, it's correct.